In this video, we will talk about uh, switch function and uh, if function in Power Apps. So let's click here the Canvas app from blank. Conditional app. And here you can select a format tablet or phone. So we can leave as it is. Create. Last time we have uh, three screens browser screen, address screen, and end screen. And this time we have only one screen because it is not associated with any data. So if you click insert, and uh, then we have to go here, input, and here are the different data controls. Let's take any one, for example, list box. And uh, we need to increase the size. So you need to select this one and uh, font size, make it 20. And uh, then we need to create label. So we will create two label, one for the if condition and the other one for the switch condition, these two. So for the first one, we need to change the size again. This is again 20. And uh, you need to click this one because we need to change the color of the text based on the selection of different values. Um, for this, we you need to go here and select the color property that we want to change. So the default color is is black. For the the default color of the text is black. So we don't need this one. We need this color based on condition. So if this is the name of the list box, list box one dot selected dot value is equal to one, then red. So we need to increase, we need to expand it a little bit. If List box one dot uh, selected dot value is equal to two, then green, otherwise yellow. This one add one more packet, so that's all. So for this label, we will use switch function. So first, you need to select this control and uh, this time we will take here fill, fill color. So this is the property that we need to implement. Switch. List box one dot. Selected dot value. And if it is one, then red. If it is two, then green, otherwise yellow. That's it. So let's preview. So here you can see if the if it is one then the color is text. If it is two, then the color is green. So here you can see if I select two, then it is multi-select, but uh, we need the single select option here. So that you can set easily. You just need to select this uh, list box and go to the advanced properties. And here you can see the select multiple. So this you need to 
make it false this one and uh, now i need to review and here you can see if it is one then the color is red two the color is green and the three the color is yellow so that's all about conditional function in power apps that we have seen if condition and switch condition so the switch condition is if you have uh, multiple values then you should choose switch condition and you don't need to write a lot of code for that so if you have uh, two values then use uh, if condition if you have uh, multiple values then the switch function is better so if you like this video please subscribe our channel and uh, if you have any question please write in the comment section thank you